cute baby Winter is holding. Let's take a look. Paint her hair white. It's the color of first winter snow. Cover it with clear nail polish and add sequins. It shines like ice. Decorate the cheeks with snowflakes. A silver blanket gently covered the girl. We'll make soft cuffs out of pipe cleaner. And we can use this fake fur to make a coat. Use a piece of wire to make earmuffs. Shape it like this. Wow, it's snowing! Such beautiful snowflakes! And these fluffy pom-poms will cover the ears. Need a piece of light clay and divide it into two pieces. We made shoes. Now the baby will have the right footwear. And it matches the outfit. Winter loves cold weather. I can finally go skiing. Suddenly, she saw something shiny. Hmm? It's a baby! How did it get here? Let me take care of you. She used her magic to create a sled. Take a seat and let's go home. Where did this beautiful ball come from? A dark unicorn brought it. Let's turn this Christmas ball into an igloo. Trim it and paint the sides. Mark an entrance. Make an arc out of foam paper. Cover the igloo with artificial ice. Decorate with a garland. Sprinkle some snow on clear nail polish. Polar bear Zach misses his owner. He's waiting for her at home. Winter and baby Snowy came home. And they had lots of fun driving the sled. Look around, baby. This is where I live. Oh, what a cute bear. His name is Zach. Did you miss me? I think you'll become very good friends. Zach treated the baby as his own, and he even let her into his house. It was the first time the girl had ever been inside an igloo. Make yourself at home. Use sticker foam paper to make a snowball maker. Make a curved piece. Make the second one the same way. Join them with a brad. Cover the bead with clay and cut it in half. It's ready! They made lots of snowballs using a snowball maker. <laughs> Snowy and Zach were playing all day. It's so nice to spend time with your family. <laughs> Seasons change, and the first flowers appear. Cut lots of flower petals out of thick paper. And attach them to a flower. Add more petals. Put soft plush fabric inside the flower. Shape a stem out of a wire and tin foil. Cover the frame with floral wire and bend it. Add a leaf and a flower bud. Spring was walking around her favorite garden. It's so beautiful here. Everything starts to blossom in spring. The birds are singing and I can play some music on my new harp. I have a new melody. I haven't seen this flower before. Hmm. I need to study it more carefully. Suddenly, the petals open. Oh, a flower child. You look beautiful. Come with me, Flora. I'll teach you some flower magic. <laughs> the baby needs a new outfit. Let's make a onesie. Use a strap from a shirt to decorate the neckline. Tighten glittery tool like this. Fill it with styrofoam balls. It looks so pretty. A headband made out of an elastic band and mini flowers decorates her hair. The baby looks like a fairy tale princess. <laughs> Put her into a baby carrier. This way, Spring can take Flora everywhere. Spring brought her daughter to her favorite garden. I got everything ready. You can play on this learning map. These pendants sound like little bells. Flora decided to play with the Easter Bunny. He was hiding behind the busy board. The baby played all day long. Now it's time for a nap. 
She will only have sweet dreams if she sleeps right here. <laughs> Sprinkle some cut grass seeds. Wow, it's growing so fast. You can grow a whole garden like this. Flora and the bunny love sitting in soft, fresh grass. A little pony is running nearby. And a puppy came to play too. And this baby looks like summer. Let's make a yellow onesie for her. Sparkly butterfly sequins landed on her clothes. Shape a wire into a hair accessory. Some magic. Shake the box. And the butterflies made a beautiful headband. The baby is shining like the sun. Summer loves spending time on the beach. She is going to put on her swimsuit. It's such a pretty summer look. Now she can lay on a lounge chair and relax. We need to apply sunscreen. <laughs> Suddenly, a wave brought a huge seashell onto the shore. Wow! I've never seen seashells this big. When she came closer, the seashell opened. Wow. This is the most beautiful pearl. I'll name this baby Shiny. <laughs> the mother and daughter are enjoying the sun. Now she has a family. Make a swimming pool out of a cheese container. Cover the sides with foam paper strips. Paint the inside blue. Wow! So many shiny fruits! Let's decorate the pool with them. We made a perfect spot for relaxation. Shiny is swimming in the cool water. This way she won't get too much sun. After swimming, Summer always wraps a warm robe around her daughter so she doesn't get cold. There's a whirlpool of fall leaves. What is it hiding? A little girl. This girl is so talented. She spelled out the word fall all by herself. Her onesie is covered with leaves. And her hair shines like gold. There's a headband on her head. Oh, it's a wreath made out of fall leaves. But where did she come from? Once upon a time, Autumn was walking through a fall forest. She used her magic to paint the leaves warm colors. I can have a picnic here. There's a very good harvest this year. Someone is moving under the leaf. Is it a hedgehog? Oh, it's a baby. What is a baby like this doing in the cold, wet leaves? Hmm. Come here, quick. I'll warm you up. Autumn decided to knit a blanket. Knit a blanket out of warm yarn. Take off the final loop and tie a knot. Hmm, this blanket is kind of bulky. Let's make a swaddle instead. The mom wrapped the baby in a swaddle. Add a tassel with a couple of beads to the end. Decorate the swaddle with gold sequins and autumn leaves. Now baby Ginger is warm. It's great that her mom loves knitting and always has her knitting needles with her. A little forest bunny also wants to meet the new girl. He even brought her a doll as a present. Ginger loves this new toy. The baby and the bunny are collecting fall leaves. So the mom can add to her collection. What did you bring this time? Hmm, it's an album. Put the leaves inside. Let them dry and flatten. Let's switch it up a little. It'll be more fun this way. Sort the leaves according to the color and shape like this. Cut them with the background. Now Ginger can study different colors and the structure of leaves at the same time. She has very kind and patient teachers, so she will learn everything she needs. <laughs> what is your favorite season? Comment below. Like our video and click the bell so you don't miss any of our new doll ideas. <laughs>